Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have two things to show you guys. Number one, I have a robot that I put three Lego Robotics kits and took some of the pieces and put it together to make one robot. I'll have to show that to you. And another thing, for those of you that have the inventor kit and have nowhere to store your pieces, I have a storage solution for you. So if you want to see everything, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call it my Lego Mindstorms truck. So what I did is I took pieces from each of the kits, the EV3, the Spike Prime, and the Inventor kit, and made a truck out of it. I was going to make some type of dump truck, but I couldn't figure out the hydraulics of getting this thing to lift. I'm still going to probably try to work on that. It was just blowing my mind and I'm like, man, I'm not going to be able to show everybody just the truck part. So today I'm going to show you the truck and then I'm also going to show you guys a cool storage idea for your inventor kit. For those of you that have the inventor kit and know where to kind of organize your pieces, I got you on that one, okay? So let's go ahead and first take a look at the truck. Okay guys, so this is gonna be, I don't even know what to call it. So this is gonna be my Lego Mindstorms EV3 Inventor and Spike Prime truck. So here are the pieces. Um, you can definitely see the EV3 brick and motors here. I got two large motors, one on each side. And then you can definitely tell the Inventor um, base plate and wheels so all of the wheels are going to be from the inventor kit and then i have the spike prime base plate and then um, the inventor kit didn't have enough of these black uh, picture frames so i had to use some of the spike spike prime picture frames so i'm still working on i have to figure out a way for this to lift i had a third motor over here to kind of lift this as a dump truck that's going to have to come uh, a little later on because I was trying to get everything to work and I was like, ah, I just, I just have to settle for the truck right now. And so that'll have to come later. But today what I want to do is definitely power up. So the inventor hub is going to be working on these back motors and then the EV3 um, is going to be working on these front motors. So I got four motors on this robot to get this thing to go. So let's check that out. Okay guys, so switching gears now, for those of you that have the Inventor Kit, um, one of my few complaints about it is there's no place to really organize your pieces. Like with the EV3 or the Spike Prime, there was always trays to help you organize your pieces, like this. All right, the first thing they have you do is identify each of the compartments of the trays and what pieces will go in there. So the bags are numbered, so like this one here. Bag one will go into compartment one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and unbag these and get these into all of the compartments. But with the inventor kit, there's no organizational bins. Everything is just kind of, you know, just plumped right there into the box. So one of the issues I've been having as, as I'm building and looking for pieces is that's the hard part is finding all the pieces where all the things are just kind of thrown together. So I had to figure out something to because, you know, a half an hour build ends up taking an hour, hour and a half because you're looking for all these tiny pieces that aren't organized. So I thought, you know what, what am I going to do? And then I thought, hey, why not try to get some type of organizational bins that are, you know, not not too deep, relatively flat, like the ones that I just showed you. And you're able to organize the pieces by color. Um, I tried to organize them by color because, you know, there's only so many colors. And then, you know, it's just better to organize that that way because there really isn't compartmentalized places for each thing, kind of like the EV3 and the Spike Prime. Um, but I tried to do my best. So I went to the Dollar Tree and um, basically had to figure out a way to get these organizational bins. So let me go ahead now and take you and give you a visual of what this inventor kit looks like with all the pieces kind of thrown everywhere and then what I found out to be the solution. Okay, so you can see the problem here is when you're looking for a certain piece that can be a disaster, a time-wasting disaster. So the, this is just part of the stuff too. I have some other things in my other room. So what I wanna do is be able to organize all of these pieces by color. So I went to the dollar store, um, Dollar Tree actually. I don't know how many of you would have a Dollar Tree near you, but these were a dollar a piece. Check these out. So what, what, what I was looking for is I was not looking for something um, too deep. I was looking for something that was shallow enough that I could see the pieces, grab the pieces without having too many issues. So these were perfect. And I didn't want anything too small either because, you know, some of these things will take up a lot of space. So I definitely want to separate these by black, white, teal, and then the gray, and then probably, you know, some of the off colors like yellow and brown, I might be able to put in their own container. So when I want, I want to just separate these by color so that way they're just, you know, easy to find. And if I'm looking for something, then I just go directly to that tray. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and organize these pieces and you'll see what a difference this will look like. Okay, guys, so after organizing, check that out. Look how perfectly it fit into the inventor box. So I have all the teal color here, gray color, white, black. This is going to be probably an issue. If I have to find a small black piece, this is probably not going to be very fun. But at least I know it's in here. You know, if I had my way, I'd probably have a big black piece section and then a smaller black piece section. And then I have all my connectors and anything that was odd color like the yellow and the red. And then a little space for motors and sensors. So this ended up organizing it perfectly. I mean, look how perfectly that fit in there. So there you go, guys. For those of you that have the inventor kit and want to organize your pieces, this is how cool it could look, you know, when you're looking for that piece. Instead of just having all those pieces scattered like you guys saw before, this will be a lot better. Um, you know, just going to have to do some digging, but at least I won't be digging through everything. I'll just be digging through the certain color. So there you go. Looks so much better. Okay, guys. So hopefully you liked the, I don't even know, should I just call it the truck? The combined EV3 Spike Prime Inventor truck. I don't know what to call this guy, but hopefully you guys like the fact that, you know, we took all the parts and pieces from the different kits and put them together. So, you know, everybody that has a different kit can go, yeah, that's my kit. That's my kit. No, that's my kit. So, and those of you that have the inventor kit, hopefully you liked the organizational bins. Um, I'll go ahead and let you know next time because I haven't built anything with the trays yet, the way they're organized. But I'll let you know how much faster or I don't know if it's going to be the same. 
Um, I don't know what's going to happen when I try to build something and then, you know, hopefully it's going to be better with those organizational bins, but we'll have to see. So anyway, guys, as we're nearing the end of the year, I'm going to be bringing you guys Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics New Year's Eve video tomorrow. So be looking for that. It's going to be kind of a culmination of the entire year. Uh, for those of you that have participated in competitions, my winners will be re-announced. It's just going to be a fun video to just kind of recap the year, even though, you know, we've been doing a lot of things um, virtually online. Um, definitely, I just want to recognize those people that participated in competitions and just projects that I've done here at my house. And hopefully next year we can bring back some first Lego League things, some in-class things, I hope. So you know what, guys? Uh, you know, definitely take a chance to look at some of the comments in, in tomorrow's video because if you remember the video that I did asking for your guys' wishes for this coming year of 2021, I definitely want you guys to be encouraged and uplifted and just know that everybody's in the same boat and everybody's kind of wishing for the same things. Uh, but I don't want to give away any wishes because, you know, I want you to, you know, check, take a look at them tomorrow. So remember tomorrow's video. It's going to be Mr. Hino's New Year's Eve special. It's going to have definitely recaps of the year, videos, uh, builds and projects that I've made. Definitely the competitions that you guys were involved with, with On A Roll and, you know, just the different competitions that we had online, which were super fun. So as we near this, uh, you know, coming year and the ending of 2020, I just want to thank you guys again. I'll thank you tomorrow for my New Year's Eve video, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, for commenting just being, you know, having my back and, you know, just making this so much fun. Um, it's just been great having you guys there. Just knowing that, hey, we're all having fun with this. We're all having the same struggles. We're all just in this together. Okay, guys. Whew, that was a lot in this video. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.